In this video, let's talk about the drawbacks of Array. Of course, we have seen a lot of good things about Array. We can store multiple values. And then we had some fun with the multidimensional Array and the 3D Array, jagged Arrays. But let's talk about some drawbacks. What I will do for that is let me remove the entire stuff and let's create a single Array here. So let's say when you create an Array of nums and let's say this is of int type. So of course, you have to say new int and you have to give a bracket. And you have to specify the size 4. Now, first of all, before we talk about the drawbacks, the array in Java is an object. Okay, the moment you're saying new keyword, that means it's an object, right? It will be created inside the heap memory. But what it does is the moment you say this line inside the heap memory, it will occupy a space and the memory location it will take is conti it's continuous. Okay, which means it will simply occupy the space continuously. And the problem with this is, once you specify the size here, you cannot go back. So once you say four, now you cannot expand the size, it's fixed. So in future, if you want to create, or if you want to expand the array, you can't. See, one of the solutions what you can do is, you can, at that point, if you want to say, hey, I want to increase the size of the array, just create a new array of that size and copy all the elements. That's a solution, but it will also consume some time and there will be some computation will be happening. So if you know the size is fixed, you can go with array. The second problem is every time you want to search something, it will traverse between the elements. So for searching, for inserting value, uh, it does consume a lot of time. The last problem, which is, we, we, we mentioned about int here, right? But what if you want to have an array of different types? Uh, let's say if you want to have integer, string, double in the same array. Unfortunately, you can't do that. I mean, there's a solution. Uh, if you want to have object of student uh, integer string, uh, there's a solution of object, but that's not that's not an optimal solution. So again, they are not really a drawback, what I've talked about, they, that's how the array works. But then, you know, when you say something is a drawback, you say that's a drawback because there's something new which came up, which has all these features. Now the concept which I'm talking about is collections. Now this is not a good time to start with collection, it will come in later, but uh, just because of collections, we are talking about some drawbacks of array, but array, arrays are great. They are fast. Uh, you can store multiple values. But yeah, there are some things which might have been done to improve it. But that's where we have collections, right? We'll talk about collections later. And it's not like just because of collection, we'll not be using array anymore. They have a different use cases. Every time you know you have a fixed size, and if you want to store multiple values, array will be the first preference. So yeah, that's the kind of drawbacks of arrays.